Roger. This is going to be um, a little bit of a different dive in that we're headed to the seafloor to inspect the Abyss Lander, which we just launched off the back deck. If you've been following along, it's the silver frame with the orange top that you've seen for the last few days. Check about the landing spot, um, see how it's see how it's set up there. The plan is for that lander to stay in place until September. So we'll want to make sure it's in the right location for the science team to get the data that they're looking for. And then we will continue along the seafloor collecting um, a few more push cores. We're back in the deep site. So we're back uh, more in the center of the basin where we expect to find those low oxygen conditions, which are ideal for some of our target species of foraminifera. Spots to land her first. Could be on a sonar, could be on a camera. That's a great question. I really don't know, right actually. Underneath could be right underneath this. I don't think so, though, with the current. Bridge nav, I get another two zero meter step due north. George says go east. Roger. Well, that's all there I understand. There it is. It. Uh, Found it. Whoa, it's right Whoa. there. Holy Yay. cow. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> wow. Well, it, was, it was the blip. Whoa. And look, it's right where we'd have cleaned it. <laughs> and wow, it went it straight, straight down. That's wild. I don't know if you guys can hear Bridge, but uh, George just tuned in to let us know he was right. <laughs> 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 it, it's tir tiramisu. It does look like a tiramisu. So can you tell us a little bit about the uh, scoops here? The aim is to establish uh, more or less the same community in the bio box. Mechanical release that will dissolve um, in about a month and it will close the bio box and then when the abyss is uh, recovered we will be able to take those sediments and find foramps and other things in there. And you'll notice the top of the bio box is clear. Once we put the, in, uh, the chemical in, it's light sensitive, we need to leave. Here in Santa Barbara Basin, we're diving in a basin that is unique for the fact that it has extremely low oxygen conditions. Now we're up on what you can think about like the bathtub edge, the ring around, and we're starting to see those, okay. um, those are sea pens. So those red stalks are, have an animal burrowing. Go to down eat. to the silver tape. Okay. Keep going. And stop. Here off the coast of California, we're actually in what's called an upwelling zone. And so the water has a ton of nutrients in it. and uh, you know, it can be frustrating if you live on the West Coast, you want to see those pretty coral reefs, but all of those nutrients yep. create things like kelp forests for us. So uh, we, uh, we are happy with the fact that we have very productive waters. So we have a variety of different kinds of push cores. Most of them are quote unquote regular they are just with different uh, handles and some are different heights. The three on the front that have the large, almost pinkish tubing flying off on them, those are injector cores. So those we want to place into the seafloor, get them back in the quiver, and then we uh, squeeze the injector. Inquiring viewers want to know, science team, have you found any foraminifera in the samples over the yes. last few days? Yes, yes. There's lots of forams, and the ones that we're looking for were at the other site, and the one that we're looking for from this site is uh, Bolivina argentia. We've found it here before, uh, but conditions are never exactly the same, and that's why we're trying three different depths here I, if we can because they're kind of picky about their oxygen you know and uh, we're not exactly uh, sure what ahead, the concentration Mark. is here I do That's believe it. we are done 
beautiful. Coming out. Okay. Yep. Let's get out of here.